I'm sure that most of the people in this room have partied with Ron Turner, and I have accidentally partied with him, <laughs> but it has definitely been the most epic partying that I've ever done. <laughs> and you might wonder what it's like to work for him, and it's pretty similar to partying with him. Um, he's definitely the slave driver that you might think he is. <laughs> Um, he's scarier than shit when he's mad, <laughs> but thankfully it never lasted too long. Um, he might yell at you for a minute, and then two minutes later he'd buy you lunch, and then you could go back to helping him pedal smut. <laughs> and all was well. <laughs> but this man is responsible for me seeing some of the most fucked up raunchy shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and although he does sell legitimately artistic and respectable publications... <laughs> He also sells really insane smut, like one of my favorite comics called Crack Whore. And as you can guess, it's about a crack whore. <laughs> but my favorite crack whore cover is the one where a pimp has blown a big hole in the crack whore's head with a shotgun, and he's having sex with the hole. And <laughs> I, I'll be honest, it's one of those covers I'd have to go back into the, the deep dank comics room like once a month just to look at it and, and remind myself that that kind of fucked up shit exists. Um, <laughs> and although he probably doesn't know it, I have seen Ron Turner's penis. <laughs> also on accident. <laughs> There's a photo that one of our coworkers found in the book stacks once where Ron is sort of languidly posing like this with a smirk on his face, and that's not, that part's not that weird. But, and his hair is brown, which is already shocking enough. Uh, but if you glance down toward the bottom of the photo, you can see that his dick is just relaxing there, hanging out of his pants. And we used to taunt each other with it and hide it in between books and stuff. <laughs> and... Uh, this is true. <laughs> and this went on for like the five years that I worked there. And I wouldn't see this photo for like a year. <laughs> and it would resurface again. And I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it was not an image that I would go back periodically to look at like the crack or comic. <laughs> I was forced to look at it. <laughs> um, anyway, my, my all-time favorite Ron Turner experience was when he took me with him to a party at the Mitchell Brothers that uh, Willie Brown was throwing for Marilyn Chambers. <laughs> I had no idea what it was about and what were we doing, <laughs> we were doing there. <laughs> but it was June 28th, 1999, which is now Marilyn Chambers Day, and we got there and she did a strip tease downstairs. Afterward, we went upstairs and we had like a VIP bartender spot, um, a drinking spot, um, in the dressing room. So there's like, all these naked chicks all around us, including Marilyn Chambers, and. Somehow I ended up making out with her. <laughs> and I ended up meeting some random Scottish dude and doing a bunch of coke with him in the bathroom. <laughs> and then at some point, Ron yelled, hey, everyone, it's time for the live show. And, you know, I was like 22 or 23 at the time, and I'm like, oh, maybe Marilyn's doing another strip tease with her pants on. <laughs> maybe it's a poetry reading. Maybe it's music related. I don't know. But um, we go downstairs, and it's a live sex show. And they lock the door behind us, and I'm like, holy shit. I'm making out with a random Scottish guy, and like Ron Turner sitting five feet away from me. And I'm watching a live sex show. Anyway, I was a little bit freaked out. I left around 2 AM. I was a little bit out of my mind. I was totally wasted. And I drove home to Oakland, got in a car accident, totaled my car. I was really drunk, but the other people who hit me were also drunk, so when the cop rolled by and was like, do you want to report? We're like, no. <laughs> so I made it home, okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> but I did call in sick the next day, because that was a Wednesday night. <laughs> and Ron, I'm really sorry that I lied and that I called in sick. I wasn't sick. <laughs> But you are. <laughs> <laughs>